Hey everyone, the truth about cigarette regulations. Recently, a bill passed and was signed by President Obama that put tobacco under the regulation of the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration. This is something that the tobacco industry has resisted and fended off for decades. Over the years, I've heard many claims that were tobacco regulated the same way that food and drugs are, it wouldn't even be legal. Now part of the provision of this was that the FDA would not ban tobacco altogether. So that's in there. It'll be regulated by the FDA, but they're not allowed to completely ban it. Now at first this thing sounded pretty good. It's going to limit the ability to market to ch children effectively. I think that means no billboards, at least no billboards near schools, uh, no cartoon characters, no free giveaways with cigarettes, less marketing at the point of sale, um, no cigarette machines except in places that are 18 and over only. Half of the pack is supposed to have a Surgeon General warning on it now, both front and back. And the part that shocked me the most, they aren't going to allow the use of the words light, ultralight, they're not going to allow clove flavored cigarettes, vanilla flavored cigarettes, strawberry, chocolate flavored cigarettes. All those under this new bill would be banned. And I went, whoa, that is pretty dramatic. Now, the funny thing about it is it's not as dramatic as it seems. Philip Morris supported this bill. They were in favor of it. Now, is it because they suddenly have gained a new perspective on the universe and don't want people to actually smoke and get sick from their product and die? No. The reason they were in favor of it is, is, is something I haven't seen in any of the reports since this thing passed. But when it was first proposed, I read about this a few months back. There is a big except I mean E-X-C-E-P-T, exception. You can use the term light, ultra light, clove flavored, strawberry flavored, chocolate flavored, etc. If it is an existing product on the market. You got that? Existing product on the market. So that means our Marlboro lights going to go away? Are camel ultralights going away, if there is even such a thing? No. The existing products will remain, which means the big cigarette companies, the big tobacco industry out there, has to fear not now for imitators, for competitors, because they will not be able to use the terms light, ultralight, extra light, low nicotine, nor even sell clove cigarettes. Now, a common thing for some of you out there who maybe still smoke, I knew a lot of people when I was young who thought clove cigarettes weren't very bad because it was cloves, not tobacco. Look a little closer. Clove cigarettes are tobacco with cloves in it. It's still tobacco. It's still addictive. In fact, they're worse for your lungs than cigarettes and probably in some ways more addictive. Anyway, so that's all I'm going to say about it. You know, I respect smokers. I got no problems with you. I understand it. You know, it's a tough addiction to break. I'm not judging you for it. I just wanted to discuss this because I really like our president. I really like the direction this country is taking. However, that doesn't mean I'm blinded and don't see that there's a reality out there. That even though there are some things that he is doing that is in the right direction and is good, we still have room for improvement. We can still go further because we're still giving a lot of power to the tobacco industry. And that's a shame. Thanks for watching.